so I'm a radiologist and I, and I work with diagnostic x-ray equipment on a day-to-day -day basis. And we've been using x-ray radiation now for more than 115 years. Um, and we still haven't been able to establish the relationship of cancer and radiation to any great extent. Now, mobile tower radiation is different. It's not even X-ray radiation. It is um, inherently a type of radiation that we believe does not produce any kind of significant harm. The entire issue started because some people made some correlation between an incidence of cancer and telecom towers and then there were some newspapers that went on the bandwagon and if you see this entire fear is clustered in a few cities where some people thought that there was a correlation and that's where all of this happened even today if you go to other parts of the country where the media hasn't taken this up you'll realize that people aren't concerned about telecom towers at all it's very interesting. There have been these sham studies that have been done. A sham study is where a person is fooled into believing that the telecom tower is active, but it's not really active. And when they did these sham studies, where they split patients or people into uh, those who live near active telecom towers and those who live near inactive telecom towers, and they didn't tell the people which ones were active and which ones were inactive, even those who were next to the inactive towers, if they believed that the towers were active, they got symptoms. So clearly it is, it is all about being pre-programmed by the media or by your friends. If you believe that the telecom towers can produce these symptoms, and if you live near them, you will start believing that. That's essentially what it is. But there is no basis in all of this at all.